Hey guys, what's up? Toba Loco here, and today we are here with a 2006 FIFA World Cup game. The reason why I'm playing the 2006 game, I just wanted a little bit of a break from the 2010 South Africa game. We've been doing some really good runs on that game on Legendary, so please check them out if you if you haven't seen them already. Today we are going to do an actual 2006 gameplay. What I mean by that is we're, we're not going to change the groups or anything, we're just going to play through the World Cup as it was and today we're doing it with Serbia and Montenegro. The reason why I'm doing another one with Serbia, I've done quite a few with Serbia, not so much Montenegro. The reason being is because those two countries were basically one country together when they entered the 2006 World Cup but then when the Euros came around in 2008 they, they split up into two separate countries so technically this was like an old nation so these two nations like together don't exist anymore but separately obviously they do these days they're just they're just independent from each other so i decided to do a gameplay with serbia and montenegro the the first playthrough where i play as two countries technically <laughs> technically yeah technically it is i don't think they got through in the real in the real world cup i think argentina and the netherlands got through so we're just going to play the actual 2006 World Cup and see how far we can get. It might be a short gameplay, it might be a long one, who knows. But we're doing it on World Class. Um, I haven't done a World Class gameplay on this game yet. So this is my first one. Serbia and Montenegro's campaign starts here. This is the last time these two uh, nations would play together at a World Cup. They split up in 2008 or 2007, whenever it was. So this is basically uh, a retro team that we're playing as a team that doesn't uh, a team that doesn't exist anymore. They do in two separate countries, obviously, but together they don't exist anymore. Let's see how far we can get with Serbia and Montenegro. Um, I'm fairly sure in one of the matches. Correct me if I'm wrong. Serbia and Montenegro lost like six 0 against Argentina. Am I right in saying that? Um, I, I might be wrong. That's a great strike by the Netherlands. Okay, we're in trouble already. I mean, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have done it on um, World Class. It would be interesting to know how many of these players are actually Serbian and how many of these players are actually from Montenegro. Obviously, they they were like um, the same country pretty much, but when they split up, how many of those players went over to Montenegro and how many like obviously stayed with Serbia? We can get to half-time at 0-0 against the Netherlands. It wouldn't be too bad. Um, it's quite difficult having the Netherlands and Argentina in, your, in the same group. Like, Serbia and Montenegro must have um, had a real tough time and that was a brilliant save. I messed up the, the clearance. Vukic to Zigic. We need someone to run for on goal. And there's Kesman. He is there. Come on, Kesman. What can you do? What can you do? Nothing. Okay, we stole the ball back and we score! Serbia and Montenegro take the lead. It's Kesman with the goal and he makes it 1-0. Serbia and Montenegro have done well to get this far. 1-0 at the moment. Vidic will be very happy with that. He hasn't had to do too much really. The goalkeeper's bailed us out quite a few times actually to be fair. Serbia and Montenegro lead at half time 1-0. That's a shot and the keeper spilled it. And the Netherlands have scored. Ruud van Nistelrooy scores. I don't know why the keeper had to spill it like that. That's a bit cheap from the, the Dutch to do that. It was a good save initially and a good shot. But the fact that Ruud van Nistelrooy was there just to scoop it in just breaks our hearts in this one. It's 1-1. One, one. There's still time to get a goal. There always is time. But will I get it? That's the thing. And I might do. Here comes Kesman. Kesman, come on. He shoots, he saves. Okay, Kesman just tackled immediately. I think the Dutch have got this point, but a point's a point. I'm quite happy with that. Serbia and Montenegro held their own, and they come away with an impressive draw, especially for my first match on legendary difficulty. The flags are so confusing. The flags are so confusing. It's basically just an upside-down Dutch flag, the Serbia-Montenegro flag. <laughs> just like I was just like, which side is which? Like literally, you just but the the picture there, it shows the flag completely differently. I don't understand. Our second match then is against Argentina, the another big boy of the group. 
We just need to be composed, just like we were against the Netherlands, and hopefully we'll be able to top Argentina here. In the real match, um, Serbia and Montenegro didn't fare too well against them. I'm fairly, I'm fairly sure they either lost 5 or 6 nil, or 6-1, or 5-1, or something. I'm fairly sure that something, something like that happened. I saw it on like a, a highlight thing, like Tevez like, absolutely like destroyed them. But here we go, look at that. Oh wow, we just skipped past that guy like it was nothing. And it gave me hope for the first two seconds of the match. He's got through somehow, but I couldn't press the button on time. And Argentina scoop it up. Okay, that was weird. And yes, come on! What are they doing in defence? And Zigic scores to make it 1-0. This is the last time Serbia and Montenegro will play together. Can they win a World Cup together? Imagine, like... If they won the World if let's just say if they did win the World Cup in 2006 and then they broke up um, like in 2007, 2008, whenever it was, when, they, when Montenegro got independence, do you think that Montenegro would still be able to hold on to that World Cup theoretically? Or would there still be like a, would there be a clause in it and like, I don't know, would Serbia claim it or would they still be able to have it? Because... I don't know, because, like, nations in the World Cup, I guess, like, like if you look at, like, Germany, I guess, like, it was West and East Germany, wasn't it, for a while, until they reunified. Um, but, yeah, like, they were able to keep their World Cups, Germany, so maybe that might have been the case for Serbia and Montenegro, but, like, these are two separate nations now, so... How would it work? Would it still work? Would they still be able to keep their World Cups? That's quite an interesting little, um, like, sort of point, I guess. Crossed in. Header. Yes! It came off of Zigic's chest, and he just taps it in, and we're 2-0 up against Argentina. How about that? The luck on that play. The luck. Also, as well, the, the fact that he was able to control it. As well, because the control in this game is something to be desired. Honestly, it really is. It's quite hard. But that control was just elite by Zigic. It fooled everybody in the Argentine box. And we're leading 2-0. Oh, that's a good through ball. Come on. Come on. Oh, that was a good save. Come on. Blow that whistle. Come on. It has to be Serbia-Montenegro won against Argentina. My first win on World Class. And we have four points in this group. Very competitive team at the moment. And uh, we move on to the last game of the group stage against Ivory Coast. This is a difficult one because um, Serbia, if we lose against Ivory Coast, Ivory Coast will have six points, I'll have four. And um, if Argentina draw against the, uh, the Netherlands, they could steal my spot. Potentially, they, they really could. So we just got to be careful. We need to either draw or beat the Ivory Coast here. So the game just told me that this is Ivory Coast's first time ever in 2006 qualifying for the World Cup. That's pretty cool, actually, because they went on to qualify for 2010 and 2014 as well. So that's quite consistent, to be fair. They didn't make it in 2018, but that's fine. You know, it's not, it's not bad. If we draw against them or win... We'll go through to the round of 16. That would be pretty huge for Serbia and Montenegro. It really would. Considering they didn't even go through out the group stages in the real World Cup in 2006. That's a good ball. Kesman. Get that angle. And he scores. Nice one. Kesman scores and it's 1-0. We're starting to get the hang of this world class difficulty now. Half time then. And so far so good. Serbia and Montenegro lead 1-0 and we're going to get out of this group. This group that I thought at the start of the playthrough would have been a little bit of a challenge. And it has been a challenge, but not as much as I would have thought. Well, that's it. Serbia have qualified into the knockout stages of the World Cup. How about that? This group looked so challenging when we started this. But Serbia come through. Serbia and Montenegro, I should say, sorry. And, um, yeah, brilliant. Let's roll on around the 16 and see which opponent we get. We have got Mexico, by the looks of things. Yeah, Mexico. Okay, that's a good match to um, um, start in the round of 16. Come on then, Serbia and Montenegro. Let's see what we can do in the round of 16 against Mexico. I'm not sure how good Mexico were in 2006. Did they make it out of their group? I'm really not sure. 
but we're just going to see how well we do against them. They are one of the top, I'd say, top 15 teams on this game. Good through ball. Zigic is going through. Could he get the first goal of this tie? Another good save. That's so frustrating. If I ran a little bit more, I definitely would have had the ball stolen away from me there. First 30 minutes. Very competitive, these two. We keep snatching the ball off of each other at midfield. We just keep like making misplays and stuff like here. It's just a midfield battle at the moment and um, at least it's competitive. The other games in the group stages, even though there are only like, well, like two nils and one nils and stuff like that and um, a draw, that was a really reckless tackle. Mexico have a corner. What are they going to do on this play? This is probably their first attempt, really, to try and get a goal. Cross it in and straight away we flick it away but they send it back into the box and what the hell was that? The goalkeeper just didn't even do anything about that and Mexico scored it's Borghetti with the goal. Look at this, it came back into the box and the keeper for some reason did oh okay well he tried to get it and what my player stood in front of it and he didn't move. Poor defending from Serbia and Montenegro and Mexico score. Come on, Zigic, you can do it. Ah, uh, you can't do it. Damn it. Ah, uh, look at this. Zigic again for on goal and tackled again. I feel like the through ball is insanely overpowered on this game. Like, it really is. Like, you always have the overpowered tactics on FIFA. The through ball on this game is one of them. Uh, again, the goalkeeper saves. The goalkeeper has been on red hot form, but we score. Nice one. A deflection and Zigic makes it 1-1 in like the 84th minute or 85 minute, sorry. And yeah, brilliant. Look at this. Look, we got it. They tried to clear it and then good shot. And um, they failed to, to um, clear it. Good pass. That's an even better one. Kesman. Oh, why did you shoot over there for? Oh, we just ran past it. That's stupid. And it's going to extra time, this one. Serbia and Montenegro are going to extra time. Mexico have another corner. The limited chances they've had in this match. Can it pay off for them? I hope not. That would be extreme BS if they did. They go for the... Well, okay. Well, they didn't go... Oh, what? My goalkeeper was right there. How did it go underneath him? How did it go underneath him? Morales scores. And on two corner opportunities, Mexico prevail. And our, our defending was... Really, really bad. I mean, Vidic should have got in front of him there. And here, he, he does a shot. Oh, the keeper dives kind of the wrong way. And it made the ball sort of go, f like, over his feet. And now we're 2-1 down. About two and a half minutes left. Come on, Serbia and Montenegro. You need this. You need this win. You need to get this goal back, sorry. Come on, we still got a chance. It's going to be, like, one minute of added, isn't it? It's going to be one minute of added. It's three minutes of added. Good pass. Oh, that's safe. Oh, and um, it did just clear it. Uh, we've not been clinical enough. Not in this one anyway. And Mexico take the victory in the round of 16. Unfortunate for Serbia. How many shots did we have in that gameplay? Especially in that match. We just weren't clinical enough in that match. But at least we gave it a real good go anyway. We got out of a really tough group stage. And um, we made it to the round of 16 and it wasn't actually that bad. So we've been eliminated from the World Cup. I can't remember if it will let us actually um, see the, um, the rest of it. Oh yes it will. So Mexico went on to lose against Sweden in the quarterfinals. England went on to beat Portugal 4-1. Brazil beat Spain 2-1 and Switzerland beat USA 1-0. Semi-final, Brazil beat Sweden 3-1 and England beat Switzerland 1-0. And uh, third place playoffs, Swi uh, Switzerland lost against Sweden, 3-2. What a game that was. And in the final, England won 1-0. So that was your world-class run with Serbia and Montenegro. So I hope you really enjoyed it. If you did, then give it a like and subscribe. Keep it loco as always. And I'll see you again for the next video.